Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we have six more Team of the Years coming into packs today. These attackers are leaving and midfielders are replacing them. And we actually have the cards already shown to us in the game. I'm going to show you guys that here in just a second. But what can we expect? Well, definitely a lot more store packs, more lightning rounds, and probably some good content as well. On Friday, with the drop of cards in packs, they released some good stuff. Could we get another Team of the Year Icon SBC today? And speaking of Icon SBCs, it's a Sunday. That means it's probably an Icon pack or player pick type of day as well. We got to cover it all. Can we invest? Will the market drop today with all this content? We're going to talk about that more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content because... EA did not disappoint for the second day of Team of the Year, guys. Alfonso Davies, flashback. We'll start with the big boy SBC and talk about it since it's right here. Five-star skill move boost. He actually got a defensive work rate boost from his Thunderstruck card as well. High, medium, five-star, four-star, left-footed, 99 pace. He only has one play style. It's whipped pass plus. It seems like they're only giving two play styles to just the Team of the Year cards. I mean, since that expectation has kind of been set, though, with these new cards coming out, even these flashbacks are kind of like, ooh. We want the two play style pluses, right? After seeing cards that now have that, we kind of want it on all cards, but that's not what we're getting. This card looks insane, right? It does. A lot of people are a little bit upset with the boost that you get from this card defensively. Only 80 defense. Am I really going to go and put uh, seven squads and around 800,000 coins worth of fodder into an Alfonso Davies SBC, even though he's 100% going to be cracked in game because it's Alfonso Davies, is he worth the price, right? He's definitely inflated in price because we're all opening packs. We all have fodder. There's packs everywhere right now in this game. So EA can do that, and it's a big name player, Byron Links. There's a lot to like about this card, but I think the biggest con is the price right if we're going pros and cons the con is the price and the pros are the five star skills the 99 pace davies is always good and he can play in any position regardless since there's so much fodder on this game a lot of people are going to be getting this done anyway and you can tell by taking a look at the prices of left backs on the market let's take a look at mm, fellow mendy dynasty's card so many left backs especially on that middle to top tier are down bad he was 1.4 mil he, now he's a million coins. Roberto Carlos is down among many other left backs on this game because of this Alfonso Davies SBC. He's taking a lot of the hype right now. A left back. And yeah, I mean, the SBC is expensive. On Footbin, it is 46% upvoted. This one for me, I hope it's quote unquote the worst flashback. If this is the worst flashback that we get, then it should be pretty good, right? So this is a decent SBC. It's kind of up to you, personal preference. I'm happy with who I have at left back in my team with Basha. Like for me, using Basha, Davies is going to have to be so insane in game and the reviews are going to have to be like really, really crazy for me to want to have to go and do that card and spend all the fodder to get it done. So that's a maybe for me, right? It's a maybe. But we also had an 83 plus times five attackers pack return yesterday on this game for the return of the upgrade packs. We can do this three times a day, but I believe it's going away pretty soon, right? Uh, it is out for only two days. So we'll able, be able to do six of these in total. I'm doing all six, 100%, but I might save them since the attackers are going out of packs. I might save these and actually end up opening them during the full release when all the cards are in packs. Kind of another shot at the attackers specific pack which I am a fan of and I think a lot of people are doing these as well as you look at the market and see the same exact requirement as it was when it was released last time 187 rated card and then uh, an overall rating of 84 you've got 87s that have gone from about 12,000 coins 13k up to about 14k plus as fodder is up fodder is rising again on the market in almost all areas but those 87s had a nice uptick in price yesterday 86s went up as well uh for the davies for people doing sbcs the lightning rounds that ea dropped yesterday weren't that crazy they weren't as good as friday so that probably also contributed to prices rising a lot of sbc demand a lot of people open packs on friday and not as much supply from the store now also a quick note on some of the other upgrades that we had the re-release of the daily silver, the daily bronze, the daily gold. These are still necessary SBCs to do, guys. Oh, we can do it two times a day now and four times a day for the daily gold. Love that, EA. Thank you. It's the little things like that that actually take crafting a long way during a time like Team of the Year when we need all of those cards, low-rated ones to high-rated ones for the SBC. So that was yesterday's content in terms of the SBCs. Solid day, right? Alfonso Davies is a massive player regardless of how expensive the, um, 
the SBC is. That is a massive player to be released. I don't think we had a new objectives yesterday, but today, as we get into our daily login, we will all be getting day six, which is an 83 times two. So that's the daily login update there. Oh, we got to talk about evolutions because we had a new Evo. A new paid evo and it's really not a surprise because it was one of those evolutions that was leaked i'm still a bit disappointed that we don't have a team of the year um, evolutions card design we're getting yet again another radioactive card design here with ito being a player that so many people want to put through this evolution hundred thousand coins and a center defensive mid requirement is um for part of the requirement here 77 rated 82 pace 88 physical guys it's the same evo that was leaked earlier on. I've actually got a um, current Evo card that's going to be expiring today that I might end up putting into this, but I don't even know if it's worth 100,000 coins for the upgrade that it's going to be getting uh, on this card. I feel like this Evo is once again a mixed bag. It's good, but it's also paid. Like, it's a really solid upgrade. You can get some really solid cards from this. This is something that maybe, again, you just wait on. Right, right now, during this part of Team of the Year, it's all about the packs and the crafting and the menus. Maybe this is something that, of course, it's out for 20 days. Maybe it's something you put on the back burner and a week or two or three after team of the year, it's something that you look forward to a little bit more and, and put some more time into. I almost feel like that's maybe the way that EA want things to go with Evos because the Evos that we've had recently haven't been that crazy. But with this team of their visionary, there are pretty good potentials for taking low rated silver cards and boosting them up through Crossing Crusader uh, if they've got the right positions. Patrick, who is also a really good combo SBC or sorry, evolution. You put a card into Patrick who and you get the center defensive mid position. And that's like putting a center back into this. But then you can put that same center back just like Ito, who has CDM and center back. And you get a really crazy looking card like this Ito card looks unbelievable. Um, if you take a look at Footbin, it's showing you a version of Ito. It's a little bit higher rated. Guys, that card actually does not work um, anymore. It's not a card that you can actually get done unless you do some sort of like unclaimed evolution thingy with keep up but that's going to cost you 175,000 coins and yeah that's that sounds like again a bit risky business this card looks pretty crazy though for being um is he actually in the prem or is he in the Syria? i'm not sure let's take a look actually you know what he's definitely in the prem he's definitely in the prem nottingham for 700 coins for his gold card uh that's that's a pretty nice card right there 89 rated center defensive mid with anticipate plus in the midfield that's a really stacked card right there but what i'm saying to be careful with is if you take a look at the top page on footbin this ito card is one that you can't do anymore nobody put this gold into welcome the evos um, so you can't do that also fall uh, from the barca team he cannot be evoed as well because you can't do centurion center back anymore um tamizi also box to box midfielder doesn't fit so just be kind of careful with this stuff when you're looking up these evos as always but yeah i'd have to say that evo is like it's just okay it's, it's there it's decent but it's nothing super crazy also what i want to do every single day right is we have the team of your attackers that are going out of packs today what i want to do is take a look at team of the year card prices do a little team of the year price check every single day on the videos because i know these cards are so hype and everybody either wants to try them out or we just kind of need to monitor their price uh over these these couple days especially as they are in packs positionally i want to add it to kind of the content overview of every single day is do a little team of the year price check in the videos and uh guys these cards yesterday there was a little bit of panic before content drop but afterwards the sbc's were decent right the evolution was there but it wasn't anything super crazy and you didn't have that mad of lightning rounds that were released they still dropped lightning rounds there's still store packs that are constantly going in the store but it wasn't the crazy lightning rounds that they dropped on friday right away at 6 p.m content so these cards actually had a bit of a dip in the content and then rose back up and that's a theme that we've seen before especially on really popular cards that are in packs on a Saturday, right? Went really low Friday night, 125, went all the way up to 136, back down to 125, back up to 13, and actually after being back down again in the 1.28 range, we're now looking at Sam Kerr going back up to 1.3 mil. I think people are starting to purchase Sam Kerr, maybe Sophia Smith as well, as these cards are going out of packs today, and especially with how hype Sophia Smith is. And looking at the midfielders that are going to be coming into packs today, there may not be another team of the year card besides one. 
um, which that one would be Oberdorf. I don't think any of them today are going to be below 2 million coins first day. Honestly, I don't. Unless the pack weight's messed up or something crazy happens. Um, we'll talk about team of the year midfielders here in a second. But watch Sophia Smith, Sam Kerr, and of course the men's team of the year players as well. I know they're really expensive and they're not as easy to afford. But if you have enough coins, you have enough dough to buy one of these players and you want to use it for the next two to three days, this might be one of your last opportunities to do so. I'm not saying that they're going to just absolutely fly today. They've already flown a lot in price. But like when you talk about a team of the year card, especially for Sam Kerr being only 1.3 million coins and you got the rest of the team of the years being as, as expensive as they are, like this is a card that people just want to buy because it's a team of the year. And the really the supply has really dried up as a lot of people are using these cards in foot champs and in gameplay. It's nighttime right now, but we only have four or five Six pages of Sam Kerr, which four, five pages plus one card, which is crazy compared to what we had on uh, on Friday when these cards were first dropped. These cards have so much demand, and really, the Sophia Smith card might be the most demand out of everything right now because she is affordable, um, or the most affordable, right at a, just a shade below 1.6. So if you get a good price and it's a card that you want to just use in your team for the next two to three days, I think it's okay. We'll see how it is with the supply this year, though. Like we saw on Friday, we know those prices went up a lot. Um, and they were down a lot, though, because they were really supp supplied. So it could depend a little bit on what content comes today. But I'd be careful with those. Also, the team of your icons, I'd be careful with today as well. There might be a bit of a bounce as there was yesterday. Like yesterday, I think Javi went from like 6 80 or something like that to like 730 um, in the early morning hours of Saturday. These cards are still in packs. The icons are not leaving packs. They are still in packs today. So be very careful with those um, as they will get supplied. I think EA is going to drop some more lightning rounds today. Now we're getting team of the year midfielders today. You can see it. It's right here. It's literally right here. EA's got it for us in the game with the official cards, the official stats. Um, I don't know if this has been here all day, um, but I was going to pull up like the, the tweet links to all of their um, leaked cards with the dynamic images and stuff and we'll look at that. But this is way easier because it's just right here, right? Jude Bellingham, De Bruyne, Rodri, Bonmati with the women's Ballon d'Or, Puteus, the most disgusting midfield card I've ever seen, and Oberdorf all coming into packs today. So it'll be these six midfielders in packs along with the team of your icons still in packs. Now, what's the difference between Friday and today? Well, with the midfielders coming out, yes, it's hype, right? But it's not quite as hype as Friday because now we're inside of team of the year, right? During, on Friday when it was just the attackers, it was like, oh my goodness, it's the start of team of the year, Mbappe, Holland, Messi, right? And then you had the women's players as well, Sophia Smith, Hanson, and Kerr. It's like, oh my goodness, this is the beginning of team of the year, so much hype. Today's hype because these cards are going to be on the market and we'll get to see how they get supplied. We'll get to see... Um, their prices and of course people will start to be able to use them in game which will bring up the hype and we'll get our hopes up to try to pack them right but um i think these cards are going to be more rare today just because there's going to be less packs opened for multiple reasons number one Messi, Holland, and Mbappe are just going to sell more packs. And then number two, I think there's going to be less people opening saved packs today. If you think about it, right, Friday, there was more of that with the attackers. And even just so for today, I think there will be less of those saved packs opened. And that's probably going to make those prices, um, they're going to be more rare. They're going to be pretty expensive on the market, I think. I think the prices will work a lot like they did on Friday, but they'll probably drop for longer. Like, remember the cards dropped for like two or three hours. I remember Erling Holland went from like 9 million coins all the way down to 4 million coins. Of course, now he's like 5 plus right now, 5.2 mil, 5.3 mil for Holland. So he's kind of risen back up. But the drops in these midfielders cards, it might take them four, five, six, seven hours to hit a low point before they go back up. And they're still, I think, going to end up being a lot more rare today and pretty expensive on the market. So I'd be very careful with those. I will say Oberdorf is going to be the card that I think most people will just try to buy today because she's going to be, if you look at the team of your attackers and look how the midfielders look, I think Oberdorf is going to be by far the cheapest. I think the rest of the team, like I mentioned, is going to be over 2 mil for sure. Rodri is the one that's a question mark for me, but I think he's going to end up being like, I don't know, 2-5 today. We'll see, right? It does depend on the rarity a bit and the pack weight. EA is going to run bigger lightning rounds today, guys. I know that I've got an 81 rated now that I really do not want to quick sell because I just rinsed a duplicate 81 rated into a Winter Wild Cards crafting upgrade and I packed myself an 86. So no man left behind is in full effect right now. No card left behind. It's getting rinsed in SBCs. But we didn't get that big of store packs yesterday. And that kind of can you can tell, right? When you look at the market and we already looked at the team of the year cards, like Sophia Smith is going up. 
uh, fodder has been going up on the markets because there wasn't as much supply. I think there will be more supply today. There will be more lightning rounds today. So watch out for that. Uh, they had, remember, the pack that I forgot to mention on yesterday's video that really hurt Sophia Smith and these um, attackers, it was a times 57 pack is what it was, and it was all attackers in it. I don't know if there's any midfielder specific packs like that that are added to the code, but if something like that were to drop today, that would probably drop uh, some more supply on the market for the midfielders, and it would give you a decent fodder, uh, give you a decent pack percentage rate, which is why I think people would want to open those. So those could be, of course, a tradable pack that would hurt the market a little bit today if it was released as a lightning round. Um, but yeah, what else could cause some panic today? What else could cause some movement, right? New team of the year is coming to packs. That's cool. A lot of us are still saving our packs. So it's like, yeah, Nate, get on with it. What SBCs could we be doing if we have a little bit of fodder in the club? Well, of course, that 86 plus hero player pick is going away today. It's a Sunday. And this hero icon kind of flip-flop every other week on and off has been an agenda that EA has been sticking to recently, which has me thinking that it's an icon day today. And this would be a great time for EA to drop an icon pack or player pick because people would have the coins and the fodder to be doing an icon player pick. And during Team of the Year as well, there's always good icon picks out. Last year, actually, I take that back. Last year, there wasn't. And that was a big problem. My Team of the Year was a little bit less hyped last year. But there's a couple different SBCs we could be getting today. Let's first look at this pack code that was added to the code earlier this last week. A lot of people look at this and say, Nate, is that the icon player pick we're going to get? Only base icons, max 91? That doesn't seem very cool. To me, that has a name like it's going to be a store pack. So I don't believe that's going to be an SBC pack. And if it is, it's going to be underwhelming and it's got to be pretty cheap. Um, I think the greatest chance of us getting an icon pick or pack today would be the re-release of the 87 plus base Centurions Thunderstruck icon player pick. This was released during the FC versus promo. Of course, I did this one and I got Thierry Henry and a lot of people were getting really good stuff from this. Of course, people were getting bad cards as well. It's an icon gamble. You know how it is, but also you know how it is. People love a good icon gamble. And if this or some sort of other SBC were to come today um, for an icon player pick or pack, you know that people are going to want to go and do it because, right, it's in the middle of the team of the year. They've got fodder. So does that mean that we can invest, right? Um, I, I just believe, guys, that fodder, yeah, we might have some supply today, but fodder is already going up. And yes, fodder will rise if we get an icon player pick like that. Like it's, yes, fodder will rise if we get a, a pick or a pack like that. Um, if it's hyped, and if, if a lot of people are wanting to do it, which again, it's an icon pack, they will. But like, especially buying 87s at 14K to me, when their max price is 18, there's not a lot of room there. You're, you're almost to the ceiling already. Like that price range percentage is 68%. You, you have, yes, I guess 30% of profit there. If they go to max price, you're going to go from 14 to 18K and you're going to be selling and you're going to make 3K a card, right? But is that really worth the risk? I don't think I would buy 87s unless you maybe club stock a couple because they could go up because the way that this SBC worked last time was it was three squads. It was 86, 87, 87, and that made 85s, 86s, 87s, and 88s all go up a lot. I think 86s actually went up the most. If I had to pick a fodder rating that would be my favorite to invest in right now, it'd probably be these. Of course, these went to like 9K, 10K last week, but that was because there were two 86 rated squad requirements that were out for the two different player picks. Now, if we get the icon pick today, could 86s go back to like 9,000? They could, right? Because especially if they drop a player pick like this, I think they would drop it multiple times repeatable, which would mean that fodder could go up even more because they do that during bigger promos because they know it can take more coins off the market and people will want to open more packs to get more fodder to do a, a player pick like that multiple times. So 85 to 88 if you're going to invest in fodder. But again, today is also a day of supply with the new cards coming in packs. So I don't like that investment as much. I think it's maybe a bit of a club stock. And fodder during a time like right now when you're going to have so much supply is it's going to be up and down. You're going to have days where it spikes a little bit, but also I think you're going to have days where it drops with the supply and with SBCs slowing down. But the SBCs have not been slowing down. So with fodder being where it is, if you want to invest, kind of do that at your own risk. It just, I would say club stock a couple. And when the Icon SBC comes out today, you can probably lazy list it up. If we don't get an Icon SBC, I don't think fodder would go down that much. That's the best part about it right now. Um, I don't think fodder would drop too much more than maybe one or 2,000 a card, especially on the higher rateds if we weren't to get a big SBC like that because of all the other demand that is out there. Now, let's talk about informs. Informs are 27K. Is this an investment? Well, 
I think it is. If you are looking at that icon player picked, again, that we had last time, two Team of the Weeks were required in 86 and 87 rated squad. If they drop the exact same pick, which is what I'm assuming is going to happen today, they could do something completely different. It might be worth trying to stock. Like, that's an 85 rated Team League right there. Can I pick that up for 27K? That's a little bit higher rated one. I like that. Try to pick up a couple of the higher rated informs. I'm not going to go crazy with this. I just think that, yes, we have lightning rounds. Yes, we have a Team League player pick that is cheap. But if we get that icon pick today, informs will go up 100 percent they're going to go up so try to pick up an 85 or an 86 rated inform if you can um i'm just you know i bought one right there just to have it in the club i i think 27k is probably the most that i would pay for an inform right now try to get on bids if you can of course that'll help out your prices there well if we do get that pick today and it's two or three times repeatable informs could have a really nice spike right but that's the type of sbc that has to come out for informs to rise up once again so it's a gamble right that's risky too but there's potential there i know i wanted to point that out today if we get the icon pick or pack we will see now let's talk about player species right because we had some news yesterday actually about our maybe our next player SBC. we still have a conte flashback that is floating around which could be today right conte flashback day of midfielders they're really front loaded in the SBCs. back-to-back -back days of flashbacks with bruno and of course with best and now with um yesterday's alfonso davies are they going to keep it up with alex morgan also fifa romania said alex morgan is no longer a f as a flashback um card she's going to be a moments card which is in my opinion flashback card design is way better um but it is what it is it looks like the alex morgan is still on the table also i would imagine a flashback would have had a higher rating maybe they'll give a nice rating on the moments as well so this could be an sbc today he does say tomorrow with like the waiting emoji so i think alex morgan is today um also i would say this if you bought any link investments to alex morgan like there are some usa cards that are flying i know the links are not that good and it, you are investing for the hope that alex morgan is super cheap and that her price is very doable. And cards like this, Dabinia, who are up like 30,000 coins a card, could continue to go higher because they're really rare. If if Alex Morgan's SBC today is not hype, these cards are going to drop because they are very invested in. But all the SBCs we've had thus far have been pretty good. And she has potential with Finesse Plus to be pretty good. So I understand if you want to hold on that investment, but selling in the hype might be a good play. And then, guys, we still have this. We still have Sawa. And remember what happened on Friday. We had SBC and an Icon SBC, right? Best and uh, Bruno. Are we going to get Sawa today as well? If we're getting Sawa and Alex Morgan, that is so many SBCs at the front end of Team of the Year. Guys, this is day three of Team of the Year, man. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I'm not complaining, but this is content that's coming out really fast for a promo that's two weeks long. So we'll watch out for that. It's not a guarantee that Sawa was today, but that's on the table, right? It's a midfielder. Uh, best was an attacker drop with attackers sawa midfielder drop with midfielders i'm trying to connect the dots i don't know if it's going to happen that's what i'm saying if that happens today though there will be panic on center mids because that card is one that a lot of people want to do and it would be an instant complete and it would probably make fodder go up again because that's a card that is crazy so that's probably coming in one shape or form, a player SBC today, I do expect that we would get something. And then also going back to evolutions once more, which I don't know why I keep navigating over to the objectives menu for evolutions, but uh, I did. Nice. Um, I think we might get a new Evo today as well, right? That's been the, the pattern recently is that Evos drop on the weekends. Since we had the Team of the Year Visionary Evo yesterday, the only other one that is leaked right now is the Team of the Year Unsung Hero, which is another paid Evo, 75,000 coins. And um, it's another center mid player, which you do get um, pinged pass, anticipate long ball plus, and a weak foot upgrade. And this league did, did mention something about a team of the year on mentions card design. So I don't know if that's finally going to happen today for a team of the year Evo. That'd be cool. But watch out for this. But again, this Evo to me doesn't seem that crazy. If you invested for any players for this Evo, any gold, commons, or non rares, I know that yesterday, a lot of those gold commons that were invested in, uh, they ended up going down a lot. But I think one of the ones we talked about in yesterday's video was uh, Belgarde. And I think he's starting to rise a bit more again because this is a really hyped card um, for the Evo. So maybe selling the hype on those just because it's a paid Evo. Yes, the cards do look pretty good. Um, but if the Evo is not that crazy and people aren't that excited about it, like it kind of seems, those cards will probably end up dropping because there is a lot of people investing there. Let's talk about the market real quick because 
I had one of my best flips of the entire year in a short amount of time just about an hour ago. I was able to pick up this sun fire for 1 million coins flat on bid. Guys, I legit just made like 300 and 50,000 coins on this one card right here it was absolutely insane low bid that I was getting late night market OP for sure. But the market's fluctuating so much. It's really amazing for flipping right now. Some of these other cards, like I bought Futre, uh, some of these cards I sold on Friday. I haven't cleared my transfer list yet just to show you guys all my sales. I sold all my informed sons that I bought at like 310 to 315, sold the Futre that I bought at 490, sold the Ramos that I bought at uh, on stream at 631. I bought a Doku for 205, sold it for 247. And I have a second Hyunmin son that I picked up for 1.28 mil, as you can see right here. Um, and I'm looking to sell that hopefully for around 1.4. I also picked up a Jude Bellingham, um, a Jude Bellingham card for 369 for this version. And I watched the team of the group stage as well because I think that with his team of the year coming out uh, today, people are going to see how cracked it is and it's going to be super expensive. And I think that might make some of his other cards go up afterwards later into the day if we have a center mid sawa that could hurt his price a little bit so be careful with that but i think that some of the like you saw it with mbappe a lot already right um you started to see it with messi and then his card price came back down because of overinvestment. but mbappe's cards are all flying at the moment from where they were because people see that his cards like extinct on the market so that's kind of what i got on the transfer list i picked up a musiala as well um for 550 i think when i saw the leak yesterday that we were getting um, Alfonso Davies is an SBC. I went out and I picked up one of his cards just because I was like, you know what? This is a very rare link to Alfonso Davies and uh, five star skills Musiala. Unless he gets leaked to being a honorable mention for team of the year, we should be able to make some coins on that card. But again, the fluctuations, you know, the cards are fluctuating very well. I, I think yesterday Adiemi was 180. Um, and now he's all the way up. He's like 200,000 coins. This is a great card to trade. If you're adding something to your watch list, this is the type of card to be trading with. Click through the out-of-pack specials, the versus cards. I know we've been talking a lot about this stuff, but this is the place to be on the market right now. Um, find the rare stuff. How about Kingsley Coman? Links to the Alfonso Davies. He's 227. He's down 7K. What did he do yesterday? He was 211, spiked to 245, came back down to 220, and he's been almost 240 again. If you can get this at like on bid, like right now, 229, that's an ultra rare card. And it links, of course. And it's a French five star skill, Kingsley Coman. Anyway, like great card to be trading with. Just fits a lot of the meta boxes. Let's see if, if we can get one of these for like 220 or something on a bid, then that would be a card that I would 100% pick up and think, okay, I can sell this at 240 later and make myself a cheeky, what is that, like 8 to 9 to 10K? Maybe you get 10K because you list at like 242 or 243 and you get a sale. That's the type of trading that I'd be doing right now. The fluctuations are really, really nice. And what you kind of have to watch for too is try to find a card that's just got a lot of movements on, on the market already and even a card that's already gone up. Like this Hyunmin Sun, um, he is right now like 580k, but the fact that he's gone up and he's really rare makes me like want to trade with him more. If I see a price fluctuation on his card, like I'm in Sala, I was buying for 550 and I sold him for 630, but now it looks like Sala could go to like 600 highs if he gets really rare, right? So maybe he's like, okay, I have a new buy price for Salah. As these cards start to move up in price, you kind of have to adjust your flipping prices as the market continues to appreciate in value. It's one thing to kind of remember too is. A lot of these cards are rare and you got to get involved with them when the price is low, but it might not look low if you're comparing to their old prices during the crash. That's the sort of thing you have to be a little bit careful with uh, because some of the prices are starting to move up very nicely. And that means you need to be buying at a little bit higher prices because the market can support it now. I would also say uh, keep a close eye on as we go throughout the rest of this week. Um, links. I'm going to quickly shout out links to Oberdorf, right? I mean, there's not very many. This is like the base hero and the Champions League hero of Kessler are probably the best links for Oberdorf in this game. I know that um, there's not a ton of players from the From Bundesliga. And of course, this Kessler card is a hero. There might be a decent amount of people investing in this already. But I look at this card at 24k and if somebody wants to go pay however much it is, a million something, to get Oberdorf today, this is a card that could end up doing really well. I think this one is already up in price, the women's UCL hero for her. If this is like 200 flat, I would buy it. 207 is close. She was one, I think 180 on Friday. She was down a lot. Um, you're not going to see that price again. People have invested, waiting for Oberdorf since this is the best link to her card. But just watch some of those links. We saw links to um, links to uh, Sam Kerr. 
this Lawrence right back card. Uh, Ashley Lawrence, her card price went absolutely bananas. This is a great card to be trading with right now because it keeps fluctuating up and down in the market as people are trying out Sam Kerr and needing to link her card. Trade with this card. Incredible for fluctuations. And the last thing I have to say as I stop yapping today is today is a really good day to invest and stock your club. If you're somebody who wants to do league upgrade packs and do them by the hundreds, maybe even by the thousands, today is a really, really good day to buy and fill up your club with gold rares. We don't know the SBCs, what they're exactly going to require, but they're, they basically require the same thing every year, guys. They require 11 gold rare players. And if you want to get involved and do a lot of SBCs, I would recommend getting involved early by going and bidding on the market for a lot of those gold rares, stocking your club, because the gold, the, the packs, the league specific packs could come today or tomorrow on Monday in the next two days. And by that time, you're going to start to see those golds creep up in price. They're going to go up the most next week. But if you get ahead of the game this week and stock your club, especially if you're planning to do a bunch of those packs, you're going to be ahead of the game. And you're going to thank yourself later on next week when you have golds that you bought for 650 or 700 and other people are maybe paying close to a thousand. So that's the video for today, guys. I'm hoping for a big day of content on Sunday. I'm excited for the midfielders release. We'll be watching them prices today and hopefully be on stream. Open up some of these icon picks and seeing what the market does on a Sunday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan for the count. Catch you guys there. Peace.